So this is an update tutorial on how to install DRC sim. Uh, this was made in 2022, in which if you go to the installation instructions, these don't work anymore and the video guide no longer exists. So I'm filling in that role. You need a pretty specific kind of setup to do this. Um, the server only runs on Linux. I'm going to be doing that in a virtual machine. And you need some sort of five gigahertz wireless device you can pass through to your virtual machine. I'm using this Linksys AE1000. Um, they do have a compatibility list, which is small because of how niche the software is. But if you can connect to five gigahertz webs or five gigahertz Wi-Fi, you should be good. I'm also going to be using Ubuntu 20.04 as my um, guest operating system, just because that's the latest long-term support version as of the making of this video. And you also need to make sure that your drivers for your wireless chip are working in Windows. So you can do this by going to Device Manager and checking to see if your wireless device actually appears in the Network Adapters or this Other Devices tab. So if I plug in mine now, it says Other Devices. So what you want to do is find the driver online, download it. I'll have the link to Linksys's driver in the description. Uh, you go to Update, Browse My Computer, select your driver folder, click OK, and Windows will do it for you. If it appears in the Network Adapters tab, as it should, there's nothing you need to do here. Once that's set up, you want to open VMware. So you want to create a new virtual machine, use your copy of Ubuntu you just downloaded, and enter some info here. This isn't very important as long as you remember what you're typing in. I'm just using my username and a short password because I'm not really doing much with this machine. Find a place to put it. It will take up a reasonable amount of space. Uh, I'm just going to put it in my alternate drive and name it DRC sim. Name is not important. It's just an identifier. Um, 20 gigs is super overkill. And as far as I know, it won't actually allocate the whole drive unless if you fill it. I'm just going to do 10 though. And you don't need insane specs to put in this. I'm going to add a couple more cores to increase the general speed of the machine. But if you want to leave it at default, that's perfectly fine as well. You click finish and VMware will automatically go through the whole installation process uh, with the username and password you supplied earlier. It'll take a few minutes, but I'll be back once it's done. Actually, while this is installing, you might want to go back to the repository page and download your DRC SIM client. Um, this is based on Java. You can run it as long as you have a JRE installed. Uh, I'm running on my host machine. You can run it in your guest VM, but you will suffer some performance penalties. Um, but you can't really do anything with it yet until this is finally installed, but it's worth just having ahead of time. All right, once your copy of Ubuntu finishes installing, just sign in using the password you provided during the creation of the virtual machine itself. You can also increase the window size in order to increase the screen resolution. And pardon my inability to grab corners because Windows 11 is terrible. So once you're into the desktop, you want to go over here and open the terminal and first update all the packages you have by typing sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade enter your password press yes and the system will automatically update all the packages that you have installed once those packages finish installing you want to go into your vmware player options go to removable devices and connect to your wireless adapter It'll take a few moments for it to appear in the system, but during that time we can then install the DRC sim server. I should add that you also want to install a package called curl, so do sudo apt install curl. Press yes, and this should go a lot quicker than the updates from before. Now you want to use this command in the description of the video in order to download the installer for DRC sim on the development branch and run it. This will install the packages that it needs for itself as well as the server software. Once this finishes installing, type sudo drc-sim-backend and it'll open the application. By now, your network card should have already been connected to your virtual machine. You also want to go to your Wii U and press the sync button on the console twice. The first time will open the Wii Remote syncing page, the second time will give you a code for syncing a gamepad. Click Get Key in your DRC SIM server app. And once you select one of the symbols, it'll ask you to put your wireless interface in. 
When you try to type in your code with your wireless interface, it'll ask to set to unmanage. You need to do this in order to make it work. And then you enter your code as you would normally. So in my case, it is club, diamond, spade, hearts. It might take a few moments, but it should scan and connect to your Wii U. And DRC Sim will give you the feedback once it does that successfully. Once it does that, you want to go to run server, select your wireless interface for your Wii U, select the one that starts with E, that's your Ethernet interface, or the one that goes to your host machine. And if you have a North American Wii U, select NA, otherwise none should work perfectly fine, and then click start. This may also take a few seconds in order to get connected. As you can see now on the Wii U, I got a successful pairing message, and DRC Sim is giving me an IP address at the bottom. This is not your public IP, it's perfectly safe to show, it's a local IP that's only on your computer. If you get any of these UI based restart messages, don't worry about it. We're using this machine for a single purpose and it's not incredibly important that we keep that updated. Um, go to your host machine, open your DRC SIM client, enter the IP that is listed there. In my case it is 192.168.25.134. Click connect and you'll see a video feed in the window of what should be on your Wii U gamepad. Your mouse pointer will work as the touch screen, so in my case I just clicked the OK button. And from here you can navigate around the menu and open anything that you would like. So in my case I'm going to open Haxchi. In the homebrew menu I'm going to open Mocha custom firmware in order to be able to run the custom applications on my home screen. Once I'm sent back to the menu I'm going to open the system config tool. Now using the keyboard you can navigate around this menu from your DRC sim application. Go to Wii U Gamepad DRC settings. Space is the equivalent to your aim or your A button here. Press pair DRC and then only on your Wii U screen you can see it disconnected my virtual gamepad. You will get a code. Now on my out of region gamepad I'm going to insert the same code. And you can see it is now connected to my Wii U without any errors about region locking. At this point, you only have to deal with the system config tool in order to pair your gamepad for the first time. Every subsequent time you turn on your console, you shouldn't need to deal with the DRC sim server system config tool. It should just work as if your gamepad was in region. And that's really all there is to it. I hope this helped out and doesn't get outdated in a matter of months. Goodbye.